Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God, is the revelator once again. And hoping the grace and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ is with you until the end of time. We are meeting once again in yet another presentation inside the word of God and praying that you are equipped and praying that you are motivated, you are given the energy, the influence and the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. And I pray that the understanding, the knowledge and the wisdom in consuming the word has been granted unto you throughout the Revelator 2024 sermons, inspiration and administrations. Today, I want to talk about the seven seals of the book of life. I want to talk about the seven seals that wrap up the book of life. There is a book of life with the seven seals. And that book of life, it contains the knowledge, the wisdom, and the secrets of not only the heavens of God, not only the realms of God, not only the earth, but even also the underworld, meaning everything under the sea, under the world, and in the highest places of the firmament up until you reach the highest Mount Congregation where you find the throne of God. There are secrets and mysterious insights that were unleashed or unlocked by each and every seal inside the book of life and each and every seal it unlocked a dimension of certain mysterious secrets uh, that are accommodating or affiliated to the knowledge and the wisdom that is profound and that knowledge that is profound has been sealed by the knowledge of the Holy Spirit. That knowledge and wisdom, those secrets are only known and understood by those who not only love God, but have been given the spirit of revelation. But there is he that is called the Lion of Judah, the Son of Man, the lame that was slain for the sin of mankind, so that the earth receives power and so that the residents in the realms, they receive glory and the angels in the heavenly places they are elevated and given crowns he is the one in the revelation chapter 6 verse 1 who was given the authority to open all these seven seals so we're going to be reading in the book of revelation chapter 6 verse 1 and it reads and i saw when the lamb opened one of the seals and i heard as it were the noise of thunder one of the four beasts saying come and see meaning that the son of man the lame who was slain opened one of the seals and immediately what was witnessed in this book was not just writings but events that were unfolding but as they were unfolding they were manifesting or these were visuals that were being seen in a book 
a book that could project visuals in the same way a projector can create a screen and you start watching visuals on the wall in the same way you watch visuals on your mobile phone or on your plasma but this was a book that was opened and there were visuals and i saw and behold a white horse and he that sat on him had a bow and a crown and was given unto him and he went forth conquering and to conquer meaning that the first seal is representing the dimension of the sons of god the dimension of the kingdom of light the dimension of the guardian of light the prince of light that has been set up here on earth to administer peace unto the world and when he had opened the second seal i heard the second beast saying come and see and there went out another horse that was red and power was given unto him that set on that horse to take peace from the earth the second seal is unleashing the second rider of the horse and the, the and the horse thereof and the second horse and the rider thereof are representing the rider the prince of darkness who opposes the agenda of the prince of light and this one was sent with an agenda or with a mission to oppose the first mission that had been set up for the first horse the first horse which is represented by the first seal has been sent to administer peace to preach peace to create peace sanity and all manner of packages that are affiliated to peace which is opposite the violence the mayhem the chaos the destruction the killings that the second writer of the horse of the red horse was set up for and he was given a sword the second right of the red horse and as he was given a sword he was given power to kill so that they kill one another and when he had opened the third seal i heard the beast saying come and see again and i beheld and lo a black horse and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand this the third seal is a black horse representing again the kingdom of darkness why because the agenda of the black horse and the writer of the third horse their mission is not to sustain humanity his mission why because he also represents the kingdom of darkness his mission is to destroy this world with anger and poverty and you know that when the nation is impoverished the nation falls into sin when humanity is poverty stricken when humanity walks in moments of nakedness all the chaos that you can ever imagine under the sun it is being caused by poverty now the black horse was set up and assigned with a pair of balances in his hand and i heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts saying a measure of wheat for a penny and three measures of barley for a penny and see that you do not hate the oil and the wine the oil and the wine representing those that are anointed and those that have been saved by his blood the wine representing the blood and the oil represented the anointing of those that have been anointed and when he opened the fourth seal i heard the voice of the fourth beast saying come and see 
the fourth seal representing the images the visuals of the events that were unlocked by the lamb in the fourth seal and i looked and beyond the pillows and his name that sat on him was death and death was followed automatically by hell and power was given unto him over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword and with the hunger and with the death and the peace of the earth this is now the fourth seal child of god and i want you to know that all these princes who are the writers of the four horses three of them they represent darkness and the only one represents light what it means is that the writer of the first of of the first horse has got enough capacity and power to the level that when the seals are being unlocked it is trusted that the right of the red of the first horse which is the white horse is able to nullify the agenda of the second right uh, the third and the fourth why because the second is killings matters mayhem the third is poverty lake and the fourth represents death not only death but hail and ages and when the fourth seal had been opened death was seen on a pillows and he was given power to kill all the beasts that creep here on earth or anything that flies is the authority of that prince that no one lives forever but he only has authority to kill when the lord has given him the authority when your time is expired anything that is under the sun it has got an expiry date under the sun but that expiry date for those who represent the oil and the wine their expiry date does not exist why because they continue functioning in the realms and when he opened the fifth seal i then saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the weight of god and for the testimony which they held in the fifth seal there were souls of those that were killed for the weight of god those that died for the gospel those that died for the cause of preaching the word their souls were seen under the altar and when their souls were seen under the altar they were pleading unto the maker and they cried with a loud voice saying how long O lord holy and true shall you judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell upon the earth talking about those that had persecuted them those that had afflicted them those that had delivered them unto death they are the ones that were being referred in the fifth seal that was unlocked by the lame that was slain and they were given white robes temporarily each and every one of them and they were told and it was said unto them that they must rest they must ease they must relax they must wait a little while until a certain season had finished and that their fellow servants who are still preaching here on earth who are like us must also get killed by the same cause of preaching must also get killed for the same cause of serving the lord must also get murdered for the same cause of doing the divine works of the holy spirit and after all of us have completed the mission then another seal be unlocked which will determine the destruction of this earth 
and behold the sixth seal was opened and lo there was a great earthquake and the sun became black as a sackcloth of air and the moon became as blood and the stars of heaven fell upon the earth and even as a fig tree casts her untimely figs when she is shaken by a mighty wind this is the same way that the stars fell the moon fell and the heaven departed away as a scroll like a page that was flipped in the same way as a scroll when it is rolled and every mountain and every island in just a glimpse they were all moved out of their places and the kings of the earth and the great men the rich the poor the chief captains the prophets and the bishops the bondmen the free men the rich the greedy the poor the wise they ran and hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks and inside the caves why because the wrath that was now falling upon this earth is the greatest pain and misery that has never been seen since the foundations of this world and they said unto themselves let the mountains and the rocks follow on us so that we may hide from the wrath of ye that is descending all these are events that were seen after these things i saw four angels on the four corners of the earth holding holding the four corners and cutting the four quarters of the earth holding the four winds of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea nor on any tree and i saw an angel ascending out of the east having the seal of the living god this angel that was seen it at the seal of the living god and this dimension now represented the seventh seal why because the seventh seal is representing the moment the final moment of purging right now the gospel is being preached and many are not concerned when we preach and they don't repent they actually give us an ignorant ear they don't eat unto us but the time is coming when the angel that shall be assigned to seal the servants of the lord before the ultimate destruction one shall be taken and another will be left one shall be murdered and one shall be saved one shall be killed and another shall be saved one shall be destroyed and another shall be saved one shall be spared and another shall be terminated that will be the scenario and those that represent the kingdom of our lord jesus christ shall be sealed on their foreheads and those whose names are written in the book of life in the seventh seal they shall be counted and numbered according to the number that has been specified by the requirements of the seventh seal contents child of god i've presented the contents of the seven seals inside the book of life and i'm praying that we are in the last days we are in the last moments each seal that was unlocked by the lamb that was slain is evidently manifesting day by day each angel that represents the seven plagues is being unleashed in every season in every minute in every hour and it is the duty for you to belong to one of the seven churches 
so that you shall be chosen amongst the 12 tribes that shall be that shall be sealed i pray that you repent today so that the seal of the living god shall be found on your forehead and that no mark of the beast shall be found at the back of your neck or on your forehead and that the grace of our lord jesus christ shall locate you i pray for you in the name of jesus